previously. If you want more theories though, get this video to 10 likes. Internet, welcome to, to Zekalore. Bom bom bom. Dear Wraith, could you please inform me why the Zekalore is so complicated that if I tried to understand it, I would spontaneously blow up into a million pieces? And is this real? For law purposes. Very intentional. No response. So I did what any sane person would do. I hacked into the main server computer and intercepted a secret call where the owner talked about the law, and I got ready to record it, but it was too late. This is the only thing I got from the call. Now, let's get serious. From submarines to finding an island close to Bikini Bottom, to settle, recording Spongebob and his adventures, I believe Zeka is studying, recording and filming Bikini Bottom, even working with the narrator to manipulate Spongebob's world. Now, to start off this theory, let's start with the design on the interior of each room. There are plants everywhere. The Zeka Islanders are not just a bunch of pirates like I theorized in the last video. They are scientists, botanists, and marine researchers. Look at each house. Frames of plants, books of research, descriptions of everything, mythic animals, ancient castles, buildings, war rooms, old ship. There is even a big statue of a fish, like you're entering a museum of some sort. Also, signs and pictures left by mysterious islanders. Everything on the island looks preserved, not touched, only studied. This looks less like a war island, and more like a museum, a tourist spot, or a research facility. I still believe there was a great war here, but now the citizens have gone extinct. But now there are researchers on the island that took over the island, studying the ancient plants, war rooms, dungeons, and most interestingly, a really advanced civilization of talking fishes, sponges, and starfish. Yeah, that's right, I'm talking about Bikini Bottom and Spongebob. Now, you're probably asking, what proof do I have that Spongebob is actually a documentary film. Well, I found an old episode of Spongebob, and here is the proof. All the proof that you need. Today is once again the day of Spongebob's boating school exam, but more importantly, this is the last test for the year, and if Spongebob does not pass this one, it means another whole year of boating school! Aww. And just like that, you see the narrator get hit with a camera and snorkels. And I've got even more proof. I found an old DVD special that explains everything. Since before time even existed, landlubbing scientists have tried to learn the secrets of intelligence. Their studies led them to the sea, where the citizens of one undersea colony demonstrated a genius so enormous, the scientists felt compelled to record their actions for use in teaching mankind how to live better. The name of this miraculous place? Bikini Bottom. Poring over the mass of brainy masterminds scattered about this strange land, the scientists chose six Bikini Bottom residents at random to study. As the scientists marveled at the advanced knowledge and superior intellect of these six creatures, I went to college! They rolled their cameras and took notes. And now, finally, we can learn all of the things that these smarty pantses have to teach us. Life lessons from Bikini Bottom! I believe Zeka is the name of the film crew and the scientists which are studying and recording Bikini Bottom. Okay, okay, I hear you asking. If the Zeka crew are recording Spongebob, how are they recording inside the Krusty Krab? Because I'm pretty sure the humans are 20 times bigger than Bikini Bottom. Oh! My house is on TV! All of our houses are on TV! Gary, 
with us now. You get down from that bed this instant. Hey, there's my house. And where is this camera room located? Right under the Krusty Krab. Mr. Krabs was working with Rafe the whole time to get footage. This is truly disgusting behavior on behalf of the Zeka staff and Mr. Krabs himself. Do you need more proof? There is a hand in the show that manipulates the show, protects SpongeBob when he is in trouble or uses him for a commercial for sponges. Okay, okay, let's take a break for a second. There is only one thing disproving my theory. There is no chum bucket, so, therefore, this can't be the real Bikini Bottom. Then, I was stumped. Could this be the end of my theory? Because of one tiny inconsistency. Then, like an angel, I heard a voice of hope. Amazing. Never back down. Never give up. And just like that, the theory was saved. As the great Nikkei 30 once said, Mods, blow up that guy's house. Blow up his fucking house. That's it. The chum bucket has been blown up. It's being repaired, just like in the show. Skip it up and down up. And just like that, my theory lives on. You! There are still so many things that are unanswered. Like why do banks have branches if money doesn't grow on trees? And if the ancient islanders are the Zeka staff, then how are they recording this show because they've gone extinct? Shh. Time travel. Also, who put the alphabet in alphabetical order? And why is there a man outside my window? Wait, what? Wait, what? Where am I? If you would like another theory, get this video to 15 likes. I had really fun time editing this video, and uh, yeah, I don't care if it does good or bad, I don't care. This was just fun making it. I know that editing was a little off, but that was the whole point. I wanted to kind of stand out, not just be like every other generic YouTuber out there. But yeah, see you guys next time.